So the excitement begins. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be searching for my dream quinceañera dress. I first started to search in Huntington Park because I would always see tons of stores that sell quince dresses that are all types of colors and styles, but once I started searching, I noticed that they didn't have the color I wanted in store. They were just in the catalogs and it was too late to order one because they took months to arrive. Even though I couldn't get a dress from a catalog, I felt like it would have been risky because you wouldn't be able to see it in person and like try it on before buying it. So if your quince is coming up, I recommend to start searching for your dress soon because if you find your dream dress on a catalog, you need a couple of months for it to arrive. The color I wanted was really hard to find because I wanted a bright shade of it and there was only light shades of it in store and the store owners kept telling me that the color I wanted wasn't popular no more so that's why they didn't really have it. A lot of stores in Huntington Park had the same dresses, so there wasn't a lot of options. So after many days of searching, Huntington Park was a fail for me. I couldn't find my dream dress there, so I decided to go to Mola 2000. I was super excited because I felt like I was finally gonna find my dream dress there. But I was a little bit disappointed when they told me they didn't have that much options of the color I wanted. They only had three, but I still try them on. Before I show you the dresses I tried on, I'm going to reveal the color of my quince dress. So the color is pink i feel you guys definitely knew that because pink is literally my favorite color i have always been obsessed with pink growing up you know so before i even started searching for a dress i already knew what color i wanted i knew it was going to be pink because i love pink i didn't want to do another color because i knew it was gonna be later on like why didn't I do pink? I have always loved pink. Like, why would I change it? So I was determined to find a pink dress that I really liked. Quince dress searching was really difficult for me, surprisingly. I thought there was going to be like tons of pink dresses that were the color that I wanted, like the shade, but there weren't. So yeah, I do recommend for you guys to have like a second choice color. I didn't have one, so that's why I'm recommending it for you guys. You know, you have to have a backup plan. <laughs> Also, if you are struggling to find a dress of a certain color, I do like recommend to try on 
dresses that are other colors because that's also something I didn't do and I wish I did because maybe I would have fallen in love with another color. Who knows? The first dress I tried on was literally the perfect shade of pink. When I saw it, I knew that was the pink that I wanted. It was very sparkly and I loved the top, but I didn't like the bottom. It didn't look good and it looked very weird. And if that dress didn't have those random fabrics hanging from it, it would have been the perfect dress. The second dress I tried on was a really pretty and glittery hot pink. The only bad thing about this dress is that it had really big sleeves that didn't fit me and I didn't like them. I never wanted a dress with sleeves, so yeah. They did tell me that they could take them off for like an extra charge or whatever. Um, but what if it didn't turn out good because you know how they had to like unsew it? What if it ripped or something like that? It was too risky. Now for the last dress that they had for me to try on, it had tons of ruffles all over the like skirt, the bottom part of the dress. And I didn't like that. I never wanted a dress or ruffles. And also, it was a lighter shade of pink than the one I wanted. And But I did really like the, the corset because it had tons of sparkly rhinestones and they looked really pretty. So sadly, I couldn't find my dream dress at Mola. I was super sad because I really had high hopes, you know? And you know what's like the saddest part is that I think what was it January February it was like the end of January or like the beginning of February they came out with a dress that was literally a, such a pretty pink shade and it didn't have no ruffles it had glitter it was so pretty they literally came out with the perfect dress for me and it was too late because I already had mine. Can you believe that? That was such like a coincidence. I'm like, wow, I wish they could have had this dress since when. And it would have saved me a lot of stress and a lot of problems. I probably inspired them for that collection because they noticed that they didn't have no bright pink dresses. Now I'm just playing, but like, who knows? Cause I feel like I was the first person to walk in there and ask for that. Cause the lady also told us like, that, that color isn't popular no more, you know? I also did search a lot on like IG and like TikTok, Google, and like Google Maps to see if any Quince stores pop out, but I couldn't find any that had the color I was looking for. So yeah, after lots of searching, I couldn't find my dream dress anywhere, so I took a huge risk and got my dress custom made. So the dress took like three months to make, I think. And so the first time we went to go look at it, it was in January, I think like middle of January. And it was completely different than what we asked for. I was super shocked and also like panicking over here, like stressing out because my quince was literally just one month and a half away, probably like less. And I was like, what are we gonna do now? I don't have a dress. So basically the flowers were orange instead of pink and the corset was also too big for me. Thankfully, they did fix the color of the flowers. Whew but they didn't fix the corset. They, they said that they were gonna make it smaller, but that didn't really work out. It was still too big. I did lose a lot of weight and it was probably due to like stress and like nervousness, but I'm not sure. I don't know if they just messed up the measurements or if it was because I lost weight because even if I lost weight, I didn't lose that much. It was it still would have been too big if I didn't lose weight. You know what I mean? Even though it fit a little bit big, I still looked really good. I was so worried, but at the end, I loved how my dress turned out. And I love the train because it's really beautiful. The train is the long part from the dress, like from the back. 
just in case you guys don't know because I didn't know they call it train. I used to call it tail. Okay, so I also bought another quince dress. This one was hot pink. And so I bought it so I can dance banda at night because it didn't have a train, so it would have been easier. I mean, it was easier to dance and nobody would have been stepping all over the train. I loved the rhinestones on the corset because they were really shiny and sparkly and they a lot of people don't really sell those type of dresses with only rhinestones on the corset is usually always just like flowers if you guys can't tell i really love sparkly and glittery stuff another tip i have for you if your quince is coming up and you're going to start searching for your dream dress is to have an idea of what you want already and like what you're looking for for example like what color if you, if you don't have an exact color then just have like two or three colors in mind but remember to just have fun and enjoy your quinceañera dress searching experience because it does go by fast. So try not to stress out and just relax and enjoy trying on all of those princess quince dresses. That is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next episode where you are going to see the quince dance practices for my waltz and surprise dance. And also if your quinceañera is coming up soon, like if it's in less than a year, then remember to start searching for your dress soon so you don't struggle like I did. But honestly, any other color would have been easier because in all the stores, I would see every color except the one I wanted. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!